people take nutrients and supplements yeah. because they want to get the more quantitative amount of an element or something? Well, I says, well, you can think that way. Eat sewage because it's got thousands of ounces of every nutrient you want. Yeah. If you're talking technically. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I means. Right. Which uh, is uh, logical. I mean, that just and people do to eat sewage in uh, you know ghetto ghetto countries. Yeah. The, the or in Maui when well, they go swimming. Yeah. Well, we don't think about that. <laughs> that 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 uh, that, uh, that does not occur to people. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we are. Um, that could be a joke that Ion's been having on us all along. You have been eating raw sewage, but you go swimming every day. You know, it's hard to get to your mouth. Okay, so we're talking about, um, on April 22nd, J.W. goes to New York on business. There's no readings that day until midnight his time, and he's in Georgia. He can be back by then, and we had someone in British Columbia who's going to have a session. Well, um... At midnight, Georgia time, we call up JW, and JW answers, and he is like can hardly talk. So I'm thinking he sounds exhausted. I said, well, maybe the travel was too much, and he's not energized to enough to have a session. So the client was on the line and hearing this, but JW insisted that um, he uh, he could um, do the session. I said, well, I don't know, but we'll, we'll we'll bring in Ion, and I'll see how energetic Ion is. So, uh, Jada would agree to that. So we bring Ion in, and Ion is not as energized as usually it is, but it's not as bad as JW. Right. So we kind of we kind of accepted. Okay, let's try it. So we do the session, and it worked out great. Then that was that. The next morning, JW calls up home and apologizes for not getting back from New York the night before. You get that? Yeah. And do you know the story? Have you heard me talk? No, no, no. So Carolyn said, I think I've told this to Jerry. Um, so Carolyn says, wait a minute. We did a session. You were here last night. We did a session with you. He says, no, no, no. I had to stay overnight in New York. I didn't come back. Hmm. So we're, well, okay, what's going on here? I wasn't part of this part of the conversation. Carolyn's telling me this later. So what happens is, JW has another reason he's calling. He's he's calling. First of all, it's an anomaly that he doesn't remember that he did a reading the night before. But right. anyways, just to, let's forget that. Now where are we? Uh, oh yeah, we can walk through. We can go over here. Yeah. So the he says the reason he's calling is that his wife drove him back from the airport. He just got home, and his wife goes into the kitchen and screams. And he goes in to see what's going on, and their whole backyard is scorched, burnt down. The lawn, the grass, it's all burnt down. And she's saying, that wasn't the way it was an hour and a half ago, you know, when I went to get yeah. to the airport. And J.W. says to his wife, oh, no, I did that yesterday. She says, no, you, how could you have done it? You were in New York. No, oh, no, no, I, I got the lawnmower out, this motorized thing. Yeah. And it went around and was mowing the lawn, and it caught on fire. It started burning everything, so I called the fire engines. And the fire engine came and they put it all out, but it had spread quite far. She's looking at him like he's nuts. Yeah. What are you saying? You you, you were you were not here. First of all, you don't mow the lawn. You never do that. He says, No, no, I thought I'd do it. There's nobody else around to do it, so I did it. So she thinks this is nuts. And then um, his mother comes in. David's mother comes in and says. Here's about this thing. And she says, well, that's ridiculous, J.W. You were in New York. You didn't do it. She sees, she comes in, sees the lawn, screams, what happened? Oh, it just happened a minute ago. Uh, J.W. says, no, no, it happened yesterday. She says, no, it couldn't have. You were in the, you didn't cause it with the lawnmower when she hears that story. Uh, you were in New York. He says, no, no, I was here. So she, the mother and his wife, you know, stand back and look at J.W. It looks like J.W. going nuts, right? Yeah. J.W.'s son comes in, hears about the commotion. Oh no no! Uh, I, I was I was here yesterday. Dad draw, Dad did the lawn. The son confirms that he saw his father mowing the lawn. So the mother and the wife look at him, look at the son, and say, "Well, you're nuts too." Yeah. yeah. So then a little later, JW's father comes in, hears about the commotion, and whispers to JW, "No, I know you were here, JW, because I heard the fire engines." Okay. Now, what does this mean? Yeah. So he tells all this to Count. He says. JW says, I'm quite confused by all this. I don't know what's going on, but 
I, I experienced being here and the fire happening, but they say I wasn't here. And then the council says, well, we know you were in New York. So this is all odd. So we uh, say, well, it's another ionic anomaly. Now, where can we go? We could we could sit in the... In the, the co- I don't yes. know if you have to have coffee. Or we could go down to the beach and get... Let's go down to the walkway. Okay. The beach, which would we'll go over there. Okay. So, um... In fact, let's turn around and go this way. I'm going to stand over here. Um, okay, so we let that anomaly go for a few days. But then JW, when I'm talking to him later that day, which would be April 24th, because it was a Saturday on April 22nd, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure, but something like that. And uh, a couple days later, or later that day, after he's talked to Karen, he tells me, uh, hey, when I came home, my computer was on. And there was some site it was at called Groups of Non-Physical. What's that, Bob? Right. And, and I go, oh, that's the new form I started. Well, how did you do that? So I explain how I got a bunch of people. And on April 22nd, I sent out, sent out a notice to about 22 people. And I did it on April 22nd because Nelson's Bob's Me called the album came out. And it came to his office on April 22nd, 1992. Perfect Pitch showed up on April 22nd, 1985, so let's be April 22nd consistent. So I arranged it so the form started on that day, sent out an email to about 22 people. Very quickly, two people joined. The third person to join was Ion. Right. I get an email from Ion. Have you heard of that topic yeah, before? Yeah, I have heard, yeah. yeah. Where, when the Ion starts sending you emails, the He JW. had been doing it. He yeah. Had, and it's not JW, but it's JW's address. But you look in JW's computer, there is no record of the subject I received on his email having been sent to me. You know what I mean? Even though it does say his his address on uh, where it came from. So we're going to go through there. So, um, uh, so I've been getting emails, but when I get a request from Ion to join the form, I had never thought of that. Wow, I can interact here? So I said, sure. So Ion showed up and started posting uh, right away and answering people's things and even started one topic. Okay, so... That's on the 22nd, so on the 24th, J.W. remembers he came home and there's Duke's non-physical, so I'm explaining where it came from. And he said, well, I'm not going to have anything to do with that. I don't, I don't want to sit around on the computer and look at that stuff or read somebody's post. But yeah, no, we're, don't worry, I will do it. So then a few days later, J.W. calls up and he's complaining about um, the, his computer is broadcasting YouTube all day long. You heard this part of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just for the record, we put it on your tape. Um, he uh, he um, he can't stop it. 